Guys, we are back for another season of Population Craft. And right. begin, begin. Okay, so here we are, in Population Craft. We gotta get wood quickly because we do have some great members here. Because diamonds are crap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you will pay for this. Okay, so where do I want to settle? Well, I do want to settle in the jungle. Uh, I do have some base plans and I do want to settle in the jungle. So we're going to go off somewhere probably around here. Ooh, a floating island. Well, we know what that means. This place looks pretty nice, so I think I'm going to settle here. Yeah, what a wonderful way to stop. Start pop, pop them see. Okay. And this and this. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> the arrow sticking out of my head. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay, guys. We got some stuff. Let's go brave this cave. Yeah, I don't have food, so I'm not going to finish exploring that cave. Um, it is a very large one, but I want to focus on other things for a bit. We did get some uh, pretty cool loot, um, but uh, I've noticed I've already fallen behind. Uh, Bram has already built an iron farm, which isn't good. I was hoping he wouldn't find a village this quickly, but he did. We just got to get ahead somehow, but we still don't have diamonds. Alright guys, so we now have diamonds, and that's really good, and really cool, and it's actually, surprisingly, the first- I'm actually, like, the first person to have him on here. Okay, so, what proceeded to happen is very important. So, after this, I went exploring, and I actually found a village. Turns out, this was Bram's and Jake's village, and they weren't too happy about it. I killed their chicken that was apparently part of a cult or something. Still not entirely sure on that, but uh, let's say it didn't go well. Alright, mate, so here we are, playing some more. Alright, so here we are, about to uh, build a diamond pick. Okay, my boys. One, two, three. Here we are, with our new... Diamond pickaxe. <gasps> Magma, this is actually something really useful that I'm wanting for a future. Alright, here we go. Let's make the portal. Here we are, guys. Here's our portal. It's ready to be lit. Here we go. Let's do the honors. Drum roll. It dis- oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's go in, um, and get some blocks ready. My shield. Let's see what their portal looks like. Ah! Oh! Not bad. I mean, there is kind of fire everywhere. <laughs> I'm using wood to put out fire. Oh, wow! This is actually pretty nice. But we have this amazing flat area. Like, it's, it's like, perfect um, for building, like, a never, nether hub and all like that. Like, this is a perfect place for a portal to have been spawned. Oh, look! We have a visitor! We'll go out and treat him with some awesome hospitality. Just give him, like, the trip of his lifetime. Giving him an amazing first experience in the overworld uh, by, by trapping him in this boat here forever. Look at it. Look, he's so content. He's so he's so happy. And as for my base, well, it's going to be this tree here. So I don't want to get rid of this quite yet.
So guys, uh, I've been doing a lot of work, and I'd just like to show you what I've been doing. So as you can see, here's our base. So I've kind of, I've, I've been working a lot. Uh, I've had a lot of time on my hands recently. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of stuff. We have a nice little farm, and yeah, it, it's basically it down here. But up here, we have a nice kind of like treehouse style base. Um, the cool thing about this base is I can add on whatever I want to it and it won't look weird. So I can add on an addition at any point, um, which isn't something that you can say for all bases. Uh, but this one you can. So I'd just like to show you around. So here's the main area, my bed, crafting table, furnace. Uh, over here we have a storage system. Still working on this, but basically we have ore, um, blocks, blocks, uh, farming materials, weaponry, food, special items, so like my enchanting table, uh, my music discs, um, and then we have mob loot, uh, and yeah, so that's what we have over here. And currently over here we have um, our farm, so I'm just going to be building a lot of farming stuff up here. And here we have my new automatic sugarcane farm. Now it's pretty small and it's pretty ugly. I'm going to build a bigger, better one over here that is longer and yeah, so uh, let's uh, let's get to work on that. Maybe. I'll set this one. I found this in a spawner. Okay, we can do that. That's totally fine. But there's something more important we have to do first. What? <gasps> oh, other side! <laughs> Look at me, I am a blur! Alright, what's your rest? Alright guys, so uh, as you can tell, um, I've been doing some work. So of course, yeah, I've pulled diamond armor, but also, I've also been doing a lot of other stuff. So I kind of turned this into a farm, I removed this old farm, because I built a new one. And it's not finished, you can see there's not stuff over there yet. But we have gotten a profit, and while I've been using most of the sugar cane, more on that in a minute, um, you know, we are getting a decent amount. I've also been working on this, so I'm also quite good at it now. But, um, yeah, so I also built an iron farm, uh, and it's been producing a lot. I have a lot of iron, as you can tell. But you know what an iron farm requires, and that is villagers. So yes, I have set up uh, a villager setup. Um, and yeah, like, there's all here, and these villagers are missing for some reason. They were here last night. I got up today, they weren't there, so I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so we, we've done all that, and, uh, <laughs> we've done a lot of work, but there's something else. You gotta, you gotta listen to me. We're about to go face the Ender Dragon. I've never done it this quickly before. I've never gone onto a Minecraft survival world and beaten the Ender Dragon this quickly. It's never, 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 never happened before, and it's about to happen today. So we're gonna go on with the crew. Uh, my brother, um, uh, Mac Jedi, Mac Jedi, um, Bram, and we're all gonna and the Savage Narwhal, and we are all gonna go and face the Ender Dragon. Leave me alone. Sorry. Yay! Right, yeah. F2. Alright, come on. Sweet release of death! <laughs> Alright, great. Let's do this. Um, oh, I left my water bucket. Arrow! Sorry. No! Who built an Enderman already? I did. Fire. No! What the crap? Oh, oh it's the Ender Dragon. Dead. And I got. You guys really don't know how to kill the Ender Dragon. <laughs> I can't do anything to it until yeah, I'm almost out of arrows. arrows. Oh wait, I do have one arrow now. It said half health. Gosh, okay. Yeah, because I've been breaking it all. You guys have been dying. I Excuse did me. a whole bunch of damage. I can prove it. I have video evidence. Watch. You can't I hit it. There. Stupid dragon stuff. Whoa. Whoa, okay. He's one. He's next time he purchased it, he's dead. Well, I think Bran's all gonna kill him with the Yeah. Okay, come on, come on, last hit. Great. Let's go. No, 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 no. Okay. Someone drop an arrow. 
I don't have it. Shoot! Yes, I got the hit. I go. Oh, okay. Yes. Evan, you don't get to keep the head. It's not yours. Keep. You don't get to keep it. No. Nobody's. Right, I said let's go not and get. to do that. Wait, I didn't get any levels. Yeah. Me neither. Well, I got all of them in one. It all grew together in one bit. Well, Evan, you don't get to keep the dragon head. I have. So, um, after we beat the Ender Dragon, we went off and went to look for an Elytra. Uh, the Savage Normal, Fierce Dragoon, and I all went to go and find an Elytra. Uh, eventually, Jake died while mining for some more blocks. Well, we haven't died yet. Eat your 300, your 300. <gasps> Frick! Eat it! I'm dead. I'm dead. Eat And then the Fierce Dragoon and I continued off for a while. Then we decided to split up uh, so we could cover more ground. And then we both, our pickaxes both broke. And at this point we were out of blocks and we had no way to get back. So considering that I had a villager set up and could get all my resources back, well, yeah, I made myself die. So guys, uh, while I am working on the villager stuff, I thought I'd just tell you how the villager breeder thing works. So, here's how it works. So as most of you probably know, villagers have different professions, and each profession has specific items that you can get for emeralds, or vice versa. But there's one uh, profession that'll give you emeralds if you give the villager sticks. But then there's also a villager that will give you diamond armor for emeralds. So basically, by trading for sticks, you can get armor, uh, ender pearls, all sorts of cool stuff. And that's how villager breeders work. It's a really cool little thing, and it's quite OP. Hi guys, so after a lot of work and a lot of pain and dying, I finally got these amazing trades. So one emerald for diamond stuff, and this is chest plate, helmet, boots. It's incredibly cheap and really OP. Uh, it, it's, a, it's incredible. Um, but anyway, we still don't have an Elytra, but we'll have to wait for that for next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please check out some of my other videos. Uh, if you haven't already, check out Season 1 of Population Craft. A lot of fun stuff happened there. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. 